In this tutorial, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Hit Designer, which is available in all four Hit Breakout presets. Gravity's 48 hits are broken down into four layers, Sub, Impact, Tail, and Whoosh. In the Breakout presets, these elements are mapped separately across the keyboard. The Hit Designer allows you to use the bottom octave as a selector bank, which triggers all four elements simultaneously. The default state of the designer has each bank assigned to trigger the hits as they are found in the main hits menu. Feel free to work from this template, mixing and matching samples as you see fit. I like that hit, but let's try it with a different sub. Turn on Learn Mode to assign different elements to the current selector. You can adjust each sample's volume, pan, and tuning either in the upper left-hand corner of the designer page or in the sample tab of the main page. Let's tweak that tail a bit. You can also adjust each sample's envelope in the ADSR panel on the main page. I'm going to add some decay to the tail to make it fade out faster. Use the slider to adjust the length of each whoosh separately, or click the link button to adjust them all simultaneously. You can also adjust each sample with EQ and filtering on the EQ filter page. If you want to take a less targeted approach to building new hits, use the random button to assign random elements to the current selector. When you've built a few hits that you like and want to save for future projects, save a snapshot, which stores all of the current settings of the instrument, including designer bank assignments, sample adjustments, and envelope EQ and filter settings. Access snapshots that you have saved from the user menu.